Hi everyone, today is gonna to be inspiration and card overload. I went to the Simon Says Create event and this is the video diary of this event. So there will be one clip with crowd noise, everything else I'm gonna voice over, but I met some major crafters, had such a blast, made lots of make and takes, and did a few products that aren't coming out till next month. So I will show all of those things plus my goodie bags, so stay tuned for this video. If you just want card overload and all the new products, skip to 237, otherwise I'm starting the tour. Hi everybody! I made it, I made it. Here's all this fun stuff. Look at this cool sign. Let's try to go this way. Look at it! I can't even wait, it's gonna be amazing. So I'm gonna take this in and I'm gonna film some things around the room too. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the main room. They've had lots and lots of sponsors, so we got to see lots of products. And I'm gonna show you where the store is set up, where the make and takes are set up, and just briefly kind of look at those. But if you decide you wanna skip ahead and look at all the inspiration cards, I will make sure to time code this video for inspiration cards. I'll make sure to time it for the reveal of my goodie bag from Simon Says Stamp and things that will be in upcoming videos as well as upcoming giveaways. So when we enter the main room they have areas to shop but we also if you can see in the background of this picture that was Jennifer McGuire I'm gonna take you to her table so Gina Kay and Jennifer McGuire are working on make and takes so they give you all the supplies and you can make a card while you're sitting there so here's Gina Kay's lovely display right in front of her table and you'll have to excuse me it's a very crowded area so sometimes I'm just grabbing little shots but there's Jean, Jennifer McGuire right there and then we have Newton Nook. I'll try to tell you all the people that were there and try to get little glances at their projects. Once again, they're all working on things, and so I hate to interrupt them, but that was Lawn Fawn. There's more of the store this direction and the checkout right here. And then we have Lawn Fawn. Oh, goodness, look at those cute rainbow cards and things they're working on. And then right here is Concord and Ninth. So they are working on some beautiful florals. Just love those. And here's Waffle Flower. They are working on some beautiful rainbow cards as well. And if you know me, you know I love some rainbows. So those were very exciting. So you can see they're working on some rainbow stitching with those rainbow cards also, which is really cool at Waffle Flower. This is Newton's Nook, and they're working on a floral thing. They're actually coloring some colored cardstock, it looks like, with some Copic markers. And now we are going to start our inspiration cards. So a couple of the companies have inspiration cards out. That was Newton's Nook. This one is um, My Favorite Things. But then uh, there's also just a massive section from Simon Says Stamp. These cards are adorable. I will pick up some of these cards, show you who they made them and show you some up close detail so that you can see them. I tried to show some of these in my live but my actual Wi-Fi connection was not as great as it is in this video so I wanted to take you through them again. If you want to skip ahead in the video and see um, more of my goodie bag reveal then feel free to do that. I did time code the video for you and I'm just trying to give you as much inspiration as possible. You can always pause the video if you need to. Okay, so lots of rainbow cards. You know, I love rainbows. Some beautiful coloring. Don't worry, I'm going to pick up some of these cards really soon and show you who made them because most of them have it on the back of the cards so that you can check out those wonderful designers. But at first, I just wanted to give you a general overview that we're going to be looking at lots of fun cards today. So I hope this gets you inspired to make something. All right, and here it is. I spotted one of my cards. Ah! so excited. If you don't follow me on social media, make sure you do. You'll see this card and it has two other matching ones that are so cool. I really like them. Let me pick up my other card that I found, which is right here. It's the Have a Holly Jolly Christmas Gnome card. It's made with the velvet. So fun. Look at the rest of these cards. They are amazing. Let's start picking some up and see who the designers are and look at their details really close. We'll start with my gnome card. Oh, I just, it's so cute and it's so exciting to see it here. So see it has my name on the back. So in case y'all forgot whose video you're watching right now. This one, I was amazed, one at the color, but two at this glitter. It's like glitter with big pieces of confetti in it. It's really interesting. And it's by Nina Marie, of course wonderful artist but look how beautiful that is and it's a cut through you can see the sentiment on the inside such a neat card we'll stick with that beach 
theme here on this table and look at this card this is by cindy and i did not know she was here at simon says stamp create until i got done but i just cannot believe the white caps on these waves i don't know if she drew it i don't know exactly how she did but it gives such let me see if i can back it up so you can see it close look at how cute that is oh just amazing this is the next one that I picked up and it just looks so, the colors are so amazing. Once again, it's by Cindy. So she, um, y'all need to check her out too. This is amazing. And I just love that background. Okay. Next, you are not going to believe this card. Okay. I, I just can't even believe it's real. Look at this watercolor effect here. Oh man, it is insane. And that is by Sherry. So I think Sherry might have been here too and I didn't realize it. I would have loved to have met her. But this is just gorgeous. I mean, a master there of watercolor. This was the next one that I picked up and I just thought it was so beautiful. And that one's by Joe. Um, it is just a really pretty, I haven't thought about using a mason jar with the palm fronds that just looks so nice such a great card so just showing you a few more on this edge and we're going to pick up another one i'm trying to show you ones that just have details that are amazing this has got hot foil on those dragonflies and you see who's made by and then it has that beautiful kind of rainbow behind it just gives it a really cool look another beautiful rainbow card that one reminded me of someone and i realized oh that's callie i did get to do a make and take with her and it's got a fun rainbow pattern to it so i will show you how we did that and what new stamp set we used for it this was the next one that i had to pick up it almost looks like lace and it's just got such cool distressing on it. It's amazing. And of course, it's by the famous Nicole Spore. Um, it is a beautiful card and just so impressive up close. And I love that she just did two enamel dots. Those are so cute. Next one I had to touch was this. It is so sparkly. I hope I can get that detail for you. I feel like this has to be paper glaze because it's not the same consistency as something else and that's Barbara I know she loves to use some paper glaze so um, hopefully she'll comment and let us know but that is so sparkly and just such a great exciting card this one looks like watercolor stripes but it may actually be a stencil it is beautiful though and that's by CZ design speaking of making you happy look at this full shaker infinity shaker card here with all of these bright colors that's a cool sequin mix too made by Pam so awesome awesome job and definitely makes you happy let's look at some of the make and takes so next is the honeybee stamps make and take and we're going to make seed packets for forget me nots this is Kelly Taylor and she's the one teaching so we worked on Copic marker flicking like this and thank you to my neighbor who let me record her hands so we did some coloring and then we're going to put this seed packet together so kelly taylor was showing us how to color with copics and then we will put this little seed packet together and then they gave out seeds for everyone so you just tape the sides together use your bone folder on it and then flip it over where we've done our coloring and it's a little seed packet here's another one of my neighbor's seed packets so very fun project i'll show you mine the next one that I got to participate in was at the Gina K Designs table. And this is super fun. This is my neighbor also letting me see her hands, but we used the new masking tape strips and created layered stencils on this card. And so look at how much masking we've done and it just looks so cute. Super fun way to use stencils and this masking. And of course I had to pick myself up some of this masking tape, so you will see it in future videos. I also got to take a class from Gina K and Jennifer McGuire and here's a peek at something new let's see if I can get it here that we did in class and so I'll show you what that sample looks like in the new products okay here's the first make and take that I did it's a seed packet from Honey Bee Stamps and so we did some Copic coloring we put together this little packet it's such a cute idea for gifts um, so that was at Honey Bee Stamps next we're gonna do Gina K Okay, here's the card that was at the Gina K Make and Take. And so Make and Take, they give you all the supplies. Look at these layered stencils. I had so much fun creating this. I'm definitely going to have to try to do something like this on my own. Earlier in the clip, you saw me pulling all of the um, tape and the masking off of this. But it's a really fun, colorful way to add some extra um, pizzazz with just stencils. This card uses things that are in the new May card kit with Simon Says Stamp, and I thought it was really interesting how this card came together. She starts with, and this is Callie um, person, she starts with 
heat embossing the cake and the balloons, then the stamp, that it's your day as a stamp, and then everything else is stencils and sequins. And I think it just comes out so beautifully. I don't think that I've ever thought of doing this in this way, and it looks really cool. Great birthday card. This is another Simon Says Stamp Make and Take. It's an embossing folder, but it also has a die cut for the center flower. So the center flower is die cut and put on top of it. And I did some simple ink blending. You gotta remember these cards were sitting down at a table with people waiting in line, so don't judge them too harshly. All of them were made within like 10 minutes, which is also an amazing thing for you and card makers at home. It's pretty easy to do, um, especially if you got all your supplies out and we got these done pretty fast. Remember those new products I was talking about? Well, here's another one, Gina K Designs Create Friendship. This is a stamp set, it's got stencils, it has dies, it's just amazing. And we created our projects for the Jennifer McGuire and Gina K class with this stamp set. So I'm gonna show you those projects. Here is the first Gina K card, and we did some really fun stenciling with this with um, layered stencils put a lot of mats on it. I mean, I love that she does that little black mat around the outside of the white that looks really good. And just the colors are so bright and beautiful. So we used the stencil for this one, and then we created a second Gina K card. This also has some layered stencil effects to it. Um, that shadow right there is actually stenciled on, which is really cool. So it's just kind of a shadow of ink around and it makes it look 3D. Is that not cool? So I really love this card as well. And then I'm going to show you the two that we created with Jennifer McGuire. I feel like I need a drum roll effect. Okay, here's the card that we made with Jennifer McGuire. We used the stenciling again, and we created this fun fold card. It is so cute, and I really need to practice on making some of these because they really do give such a cool effect to the person opening. It's just something different and new, and I love how it turned out. And this last card is another, I would call it a fun fold card. Look at this and how it pulls apart. Watch this. It is such a cool effect. Oh my goodness, that's even a whole note card in there on the inside so that you can pull it out and put your note on the inside where you won't be seeing the writing from the front of the card if somebody wants to stand this up. And so it's just a plain white note card with a little bit of design in the middle just to give behind those butterflies something, but it is really a cool card. I'm not sure I've ever made one like this and it just was the classic Jennifer McGuire card, super fun to do. Okay, next we're gonna look at what came in the goodie bag and a prize that I won so that you can see all these products. Some of these products will definitely be part of my 5K giveaway, which is coming up soon. So stay tuned in the next couple of weeks. I'm gonna have a big giveaway. It's gonna be amazing, okay? And so we'll start with what I won, which was this. We had little raffle tickets and I won the Trinity Stamps bag. So let me show you what all came in this. A lot of this is Slimline products, so just excuse my camera. I have to keep it at a really wide angle to be able to see these because some of these dies are huge. Okay, so I'm gonna go through them and show you what's in here um, and, and we'll see what we've got. We've definitely got some paper, so slimline paper, which is really handy if you're gonna be making slimlines. Some stripes that have stitches on them, which I love. That's always so fun. You can make so many cards with stripes. And then these huge tags, tags that go on slimlines, something for the fall probably. Um, and then this, it's hard to read it, but it's got very big words. I think it says woohoo, hooray, yippee, wow. Um, and then it's also got a nice little border with ooh, some borders there, some fun borders here for a slim line. I thought this was interesting. That could be like a five-way shaker card. It, it's really an interesting die. Interested to try that one out. And then we've got lots of stripes. So stencils, is, if you know me, you know I love stencils. This is one I had to look at it. I'm still not completely sure. It does um, I think it stencils a rectangle so I could make like a smaller rectangle in the middle of my slim line And then this is one of the sets that moves I think it's called twist and slide so you can move your little characters and things like that very cool And then we got an, I got an envelope die Which is good an env envelope builder set for slim lines because sometimes it's hard to find some slim line some cute slim line cards How about that um, our envelopes and this is just an extra part of an envelope die so that you can put more fun elements to it. 
Now let's get to the goodie bags that we got from taking the classes with Gina Kay and Jennifer McGuire. And this goodie bag was made by sponsors for people who took the paid classes and I paid to be in one of the classes. So um, here is a couple of six by six. I actually haven't ever seen this Moda scrap before. It's a really interesting color palette. Looks really cool for school projects and teacher cards. Of course, my favorite things is bright and beautiful. So if you've watched any of my organization videos, you know that I have a lot of things from stamp and storage. And this is a six by seven pocket. I actually opened it because I wasn't completely sure what it was, but it's like little divider pockets. It's a really cool way. I feel like you could put your stencils in here and label them. That would be very interesting. I'm sure you could use it for dies, but it's just a pocket um, organizing system is basically what it looks like. And for me, I think I'm gonna try storing stencils in it and see what happens. Next is another little storage pouch, and this one's interesting because it changes sizes. So I believe it's for pencils, you know, any, any type of pen or whatever you're taking with you, but you can make it short or you can make it tall, which is kind of cool. Next are these hero transfers. Basically, you can rub on these designs on your cards. They look really cool when you do that. And then there's an entire stamp set from Colorado and Craft Company. And I tried to get it down where you could see a little bit, but it's these cute little mice and a party scene. Oh, it'd be really fun to color. And they do some really neat little, um, I think this is Anita Jerum is the designer on this. Next is Sizzix, and it's got this cute little camera and die cut for the camera, which is would be precious on a scrapbook. Oh, and then Mama Elephant. You cannot go wrong with Mama Elephant. They are just adorable. So it's little planner agenda things. And then the Waffle Flower is a birthday puppies stencil. So that could be really cute to create um, a birthday card for a dog or just for fun. And then Avriel put in this um, Peace and Joy, which is a beautiful, it's got that little deer at the bottom, so cute, and got some great, I really love their fonts from Avriel. The next one I had never seen before, Purple Onion Designs. I think I've, re I've seen them, but I do not own anything from them. So I got that little bear. Newton's Nook has this cute little truck with flowers in the back. It's a little mini stamp. And then I cannot believe this, but I have an entire Lawn Fawn stamp set and die set. They were so generous, and that is a really fun set. Next, from Altenew, we have a little cake die with a couple of sentiments. It's another mini. And then Olo sent us all one marker so that we can try it. I've been wanting to know how these work compared to Copics, so I'll check that out. And then these are precious, Julie Hickey. So it's these little glossies. Um, they're just little enamel dots. I have never seen her company before, and so she, the packaging one is just adorable. But these colors are great, so really fun stuff to try. I bet you thought we were done, but we got a wow embossing powder in this teal. Can't wait to see what that's like. I love swatching embossing powder. I don't know why. I just kind of love embossing powder. And then I got some washi tape from Lawn Fawn. Look at those cute elephants. I know some people who love elephants and they would love this. Okay, and that's not all. Just wait. Trinity Stamps included this. They gave us an entire thing of glue and a fun jewel picker and some sequins. I'm gonna show it all to you because it's so cute. So glue, I have not tried their glue before, so I'll be excited to test that out. Some fun um, sequin mixes. You know I love some shaker cards, so that'll be great. And then this is a tool that has um, a, like a piercing tool on the end and a little wax pickup so that you can do your sentiments. And then a little bag. How cute. I love having things to store stuff. So that is the end of the samples. I'm gonna show you what I bought at Simon Says Stamp. And the reason I'm showing you all this is because I'm hoping to use all of it in upcoming videos. I've got Concord and Ninth. I try, I'm gonna try out their card stock. This masking magic strips. Remember, this is how we made the card at the Gina K table. And so I really wanna try those in some different fun ways on cards. I got some envelopes, so if you get cards from me and you wonder where those pretty envelopes come from, I got a lot from Gina K and a lot from Simon Says Stamp. I got some of this glossy color blend paper because I had some of the pastel and it's really fun to foil on. 
And believe it or not, I actually don't have a whole lot of circle dies. And so I got another set of circle dies to give me some more options. And then I've been seeing people use these waffle flower brushes on their stencils and I wanted to try them. And I also wanted to try the Simon Says Stamp brand of tape. So I will keep you all updated on how that goes. Okay, I hope that you enjoyed this. Make sure that you pay attention the next couple weeks on all my social media channels or sign up for my newsletter so that you get notified when the 5K giveaway starts.